I think things are getting rolling here. One second here, folks. I'm going to check out the stream. My volume is way too loud. What is going on here? We are good. Welcome back, Pokemon trainers. Professor Chaz here. The lab coat's on back order, and it's time for some more Pokemon TCG Online action here for the evening. Doing a Pokemon TCG Online live stream. Hello to Glacian, if you are still in there. I saw you were in there about 30 minutes ago. Hello, Vincent. Hello, the Fast Salad. Trainer Joey, YT, Pokemon lover Mickey Layton. Welcome, everybody for our Sunday evening Pokemon TCG Online live stream. So as per usual, it's going to be a nice little simple hour of hanging out together, playing some Pokemon cards. We've got a number of code cards to be given out. Since there's a lot of people here, I'll probably give one right away. And I do remember you, Trainer Joey. You were in... Which stream were you from? I do remember the name. I believe you were from the last Pokemon Ultra Sun Wi-Fi battle video. Or the stream, if I remember correctly. I might be remembering incorrectly, and I apologize. But as you see, nice stack of code cards. I'm going to also open up one of my own booster packs. What do I have available? Let's see. I'm going to open up a Crimson and... I got another one. I'm going to open up a Crimson Invasion booster pack towards the middle part of the video, so stay tuned for that. And that code card will be available for you folks to grab as well. And I don't think I have fixed up the thing that lets me put them on screen. It might have to just be in the chat. It's going to have to be in the chat again today. So another simple copy-paste for the day. And uh, that's it. Uh, so Popular Girl has changed the avatar. Hello. Welcome to our live stream tonight. And Mickey does love the Pokemans. Who doesn't love the Pokemans? Well, anti-Pokemans fans, but... They're not welcome here. No, anyone's welcome here. We can convert them into Pokemans fans, I'm sure. And, yep, Trainer Joey, I thought I remember you from the Wi-Fi battling, which we'll have another video coming up, or sorry, another stream coming up later on this coming week as well. And I guess first, before we get started with any of the battling, I'll just say quickly, I think I'm going to sort of try to limit the streams to maybe four nights a week, maybe five. I'll see what I have available for streaming. Hello, Cypher Gaming. Welcome to our stream tonight for Pokemon TCG Online. And uh, just so I don't burn myself out on too many streams. So I will say tomorrow night we will have a, it'll be a non-streaming day. I'm hoping to have a Pokemon Go video to go up and another episode of Pokemon Pearl because I have calmed down from the champion battle. I can go ahead and take on the post game. And I gotta start into another sort of special feature on the channel. I gotta try to get that set up. But yeah, no stream tomorrow. I'm gonna go streaming Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, maybe Friday or Saturday, and probably Sunday as well. And I'll put a thing on my Twitter that'll show the upcoming schedule, and I'll probably mention it in tomorrow's Pearl video as well, so you can check that out. And let's see what's going on here. Popular Girl has Pokemon TCG, just not an account. Well. Unfortunately, you will need an account if you want to play the online game here, I believe, anyway. You need a trainer club ID that can get at uh, Pokemon.com. You can set that up there. And Trainer Joey will be right back. Well, I'm going to have to start off quickly giving out one code card, but if you do miss out on that one, there are many more I'll be giving out later on. I'm going to aim for about one every 20 minutes or so. And then, of course, there's the one I'm going to get from the Crimson Invasion pack. So the first code is going to be for a Burning Shadows online booster pack. I'm going to toss this into the chat. Let me move my chat window over here. And, uh... My chat window's too big. Hang on. i got to shrink it down a little bit. There we go. Alright. Code for a Burning Shadows booster. Today was a sort of busy day, again, in the world of Pokemon Go. I'm having so much fun getting those gifts and sending them out to people. I will say, although there's going to be no live stream tomorrow night, I will have a brief live stream in the morning as I open up Pokemon Go gifts and try to send some out to the viewers in the live stream. So if you can get up early, well, I say get up early. Depends on what part of the world you're in. I'm going to aim for about 9 o'clock or maybe uh, 10 o'clock my time, Atlantic time, and see if we can have a live stream where I can give out some gifts. All right, so this code, I think, should be good. Did I say that right? Yes, I did. Uh, Alright, help yourselves to a Burning Shadows booster down in the chat. First come, first serve. Copy, paste it here to Pokemon TCG Online and get a nice a booster pack of Burning Shadows. 11 cards, one of, being, or one of them being a basic energy, but a lot of other cards as well. <coughs> Excuse me. And Trainer Joey, can I add your friend code now? Is that for... The Wi-Fi battle. I think I already added it. Like, even though we couldn't do the battle because you didn't have the right game, I'm pretty sure I added it. You can put it in the chat again. I'll make sure I copy it over. Let me open up a notepad just to make sure I have that ready. But yeah, feel free to send it in the chat, and I will uh, snag it. And hello, Jeff Co 
Jeff Kalali. I had to stop and... The other screen that I have is smaller, so I had to, like, lean in and see where it is. And Greg is asking, when is our Pokemon battles? You're talking... Yeah, you were for the uh, Wi-Fi battling, right? I don't know when I'm going to do it this coming week. It's going to be either Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday. I haven't really decided in what order I want to do these videos, but... I gotta sit down tonight and actually lay out all the things I have for live streaming. Decide on a set schedule so you guys know what day to come and check out, for example, if you're interested in Pokemon TCG, you know, what day of the week to check out for the live streaming. So I'll get that set up. And again, you can check me out on Twitter. There should be a link in the description of this particular live stream video. You can see what is going on with the live stream schedule. All right, I will grab that code for Trainer Joey, just in case. Like I said, I'm pretty sure I added it, but I'll grab it just to be sure. And your username is okay. We got your username, and well, the poke or did the Pokemon X game card work? No, mine actually does not work. I don't know what happened. It must have like deformatted or something. So all of my adventures in the Kalos region are basically gone. But I did bring up my Pokemon from the older generations through X into Sun and Moon, so we have that ready to go. And Greg, you didn't get a chance for Electric. That is unfortunate. You might still have a chance when we do the Wonder Trade day for uh, Electric. So stay tuned for that. But there'll be other many Pokemon to pick up along the way as we do more Wi-Fi battling. And Mickey saying, remember a guy in Discord was trying to sell the codes. No one was buying. He said he would burn them before he gave them for free. Really? Well, I mean. They're his codes, he can do what he chooses with them. Me, I would rather give to you folks, because I like the fact that we're hanging out. I like, you know, you guys are spending your time with me. You're investing your time, your hard-earned time with me. I'm going to give something back to you. All right, we have dilly-dallied long enough. Does anybody in the chat want to do a battle? Or should we... You know what else I want to do at some point? Maybe if we have time in the stream I'll do this but I gotta start assembling some new decks I gotta look at some of the cards from Forbidden Light because we only have about I guess a little over a month until Celestial Storm is it I believe until that new set comes out I gotta start working on new decks of those and let's see here Dazzling Shell Garfield is 40 years old he has survived that many Mondays wow and Vincent you like hanging out too awesome stuff I love it so, basically, if you do play Pokemon Go, I would say, feel free to hang out with me tomorrow morning, and I'll set up a schedule for this one, too. So I'm going to be opening up some gifts on the live stream, because I can now live stream Pokemon Go, even though I can only do it while I'm sitting at the computer. Someday, when the uh, cash is available, i see if I can maybe get a laptop that I can bring around with me, and do maybe mobile streaming Pokemon Go. That might be something to try out sometime. It'd be kind of cool. And, uh, Popular Girl, you need... Is it a special info for setting up your account? Yeah. I mean, it could be a little bit complicated there. Uh, let me just get caught up on the chat here. It can't be in the next stream early tomorrow. You know, you're waking up early. You got... Yeah, you're busy. You got stuff going on. Understandable. And, uh... You'll be doing Pokemon Gold and Silver. But that's okay. No problem. Uh, if you can't make it for this particular stream I'm talking about, I'm gonna try to do maybe once every couple days... I was thinking once per day I could do this, but let's just say, to be safe, once every couple days I'll do a morning Pokemon Go live stream where I open up... Well, the idea is, you can only open up 20 gifts in Pokemon Go every day, so I want to open them all up with you guys watching and see what we get for items, like I did last night. And I can also give out, like I have five gifts saved up. I'm gonna, we're gonna try it as a little bit of a test, a little bit of a free-for-all. As we're watching the stream, or as you guys are watching the stream, you can throw out your in-game usernames in Pokemon Go, and if basically as soon as I see a name that matches someone on my list, I'll shoot off a gift to you. And if I don't, like you guys can send your, uh, re your friend request as well, and I'll add you during the stream. And we'll see if I can get some gifts to you folks during the stream, and see if you can get some cool items. Because I've seen that... Uh, oh, we got our first opponent here. I'm going to go with... Let's try the Rainbow Road. Let's choose a different song here, too. But what was I about to say? Something kind of profound and amazing, but I lost it. Oh, about the gifts. You can only carry five gifts in Pokemon Go at a time that you can send out to people. And I'm going to be getting more as I go around during the day tomorrow. But as soon as I wake up, I'll have five gifts ready to hand out. And hopefully I can give them to some of you folks in the chat. Alright, let's get caught up here. 
Popular Girl gives up. Unfortunately, can't get the online set up right now, but there'll be many more Pokemon TCG online streams coming in the future. So, although you can't take part in today's, stay tuned for the future, and you might be able to do just that. We have now. I was talking about this. Necrozma GX is known as the Pokemon with no light. It's the lightless Pokemon. How is there a Rainbow Rare of a Pokemon that is, a, you know, void of light? There it is. We see it right there. And on the bench, we have an Inkay. We have an Oranguru on the bench also. Well, not yet, but it will be momentarily. And Popular Girl used to have an account. Not sure why it won't work anymore. Um, what if you were to... I don't know. Is it just a matter that you can't log in? Because you can... I think there's a way you can get your password either sent to you or reset to be able to log in once again. Uh, so, Joey's asking, how do you give a gift in Pokemon Silver if you're offline? I don't think I'm able to give a gift in Pokemon Silver in that sense. One sec. Let's get the Professor Kakui. Got us a nest ball. Very good. I'm going to... I guess we'll get Moralol. That's going to be a bit of a slow start for me, unfortunately. So we're going to pass the turn. But as far as giving gifts, uh, I was talking about Pokemon Go. We'll be able to do that in the morning. Yeah, I got Xerneas GX down on the field there, Trainer Joey. That is right. You got a Rainbow Rare Full Art Sylveon GX. Very cool. You're talking in the online game or in real life? Like, either way, that's a pretty cool card to have, for sure. What have I done recently that is pretty cool? Well, I didn't put these away just yet, but if you guys saw the last video, I did manage to snag the Cyrus Prism Star card from the uh, booster pack I opened up last stream. Kind of happy with that guy. Don't know how viable he is, but... Uh, could come in handy. So I'll get back down there for now. And we're going to on time. So after this video, sorry, after this video, after this battle, this match, I'll be sending out another code in the chat, so stay tuned for that. Welcome, Spooky Miner. I see you in the chat there as well. So you're mowing, but to change your Spotify playlist, but you saw that I was streaming, and I'm taking... Oh, I was going to say, I was going to say, am I taking priority from your mowing? Because you can always watch this stream later on, you know. That's the thing about the streaming. You can be here live as it's happening, but it's always going to be saved. Unless we're doing Wi-Fi battles in Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, and it gets copyright blocked because of certain um, Z moves being used. Although I'm trying to be good at blocking those so they don't get, uh, basically don't block the entire video in the future. And hello, Unknown Spike. Welcome to our live stream tonight. We're going to evolve into Shinotic. And let's go ahead and attach this to Xerneas. We're going to use Shinotic's Illuminate and get myself a... What do we want? Hmm. I'm gonna get Flababy. Let's get a little Flababy on here. We'll drop you down onto the bench. And I'm gonna attach the choice band. I think the next best bet. Let's play Skyla and get ourselves the rarest of the rare candies right here. Looks a lot different than the Pokemon Go ones, of course. All right, let's go with the overrun to do 50 to the active, and let's hit. If this thing evolves, that's going to hurt us. Let's hit the energy retrieval aspect of Malamar. Okay. And let's see. So, Trainer Joey. Oh, and I want to keep my rare candy. No. You battled against an Eveltal GX with your Sylveon GX in real life, and you lost... Even with the uh, type resistance, sometimes that does just happen, unfortunately. And bonjour, Vex Evolution. Being all cultural, are we? Very cool. Thanks again for helping out today. Guys, you're going to see some pretty cool stuff tomorrow in Pokemon Go. Vex and I did some testing with some of the trade options. We've learned a few things. In fact, should I mention spoilers? I could spoil something a little bit that we found out. Something to do with the eggs you get in the gifts and a way you can make good use of them. Uh, let's see. I could use a Choice Scarf. I do have the Choice Scarf on there now. Not anymore. We're losing that. And, yes, Popular Girl, you can always join in for the uh, Wi-Fi battles, of course. Whenever you feel like popping on in there. Okay. How much does this hurt me for? It'll be 190. Let's throw that on there. The old Fighting Fury Belt. <sighs> Let me think. I'm going to drop the Poe Town. I'm going to take a bit of a risk here. I'm going to play Judge. Shuffle these three away and draw four extra. 
Not quite what I was hoping to find, unfortunately. But we can at least illuminate once again and get ourselves a Floet. Do we need Floet right now? I kind of want to get... Actually, that's the only one we can make use of. No, we, c we can do this. We can grab Cutie Fly. So we'll grab Cutie Fly. We will play down Cutie Fly. And let's go with the Overrun. 50 more, sorry, uh, that'll be 30 more to the active and 20 more onto the Malamar on the old bench down there. Very cool. And let's get caught up once again here. Chandelure Scorcher went to a game shop and played three games and you won all of them. Awesome. What kind of deck were you using, just out of curiosity? And yes, Vex, we've learned a thing. Very true. You guys will find that out. And Poplio, you love the, the gift thing on Pokemon Go. It is so awesome. You had no Ultra Balls, now you have 29. It is crazy cool, this gifting. I love it. Like, uh, I've been trying to hold down my gym across the street. I let it, you know, if you guys saw, saw the stream last night. Was it last night? I think so. I was so tired. I'm like, I'm just going to let everyone have that gym, you know, for the rest of the night and today. And they've been trying to beat me out of that gym quite a bit. I had it for about 50 minutes at one point. Someone drove up, not walking. They drove up and took over the gym. I went right back over there, took it right back again. If I get my 50 coins for the day, sure, you can have the gym. I haven't gotten my coins yet. That's my gym. All right, we get the evolution into Silver Valley GX. Huh, that thing could hurt us. That wouldn't be very good. So how's the chat going here? Oh, you're using the Dusk Main, Necrozma, and Magnezone. That is a definite cool combo. Oh, so they're going for... Did they grab one? I didn't notice. Look at all those full arts and golden rimmed secret rares and stuff like that. Yeah. We gotta deal with that uh, Silver Valley next up. Hmm. Oh, the invasion. Okay. Psychic Recharge. Gonna be able to add a discarded psychic energy to a Pokemon right there. Do you see a Floatstone in your future to get this retreated? Never mind. What am I? What am I missing here? Something gives you a free retreat. Oh, what am I talking about? So Valley, of course. All basic Pokemon have a free retreat cost. I was not even thinking all about that. Okay, so let us illuminate. I'm gonna grab Floet now, and I'm gonna play Floet down. I'm gonna also Evo Soda and get ourselves Rabombi. Yeah. Hmm. Let me do some math in my head here. I think I'll be okay-ish. I'm gonna grab some energy here. Let's toss one of these energy down onto our Xerneas GX. And go for the nice... Do we have any tools they have? No, we don't. We're gonna go for the uh, Sanctuary GX. Move all damage counters from each of my Pokemon to the opponent's active Pokemon. So it's gonna be a full heal for Xerneas GX. I have healed up our Floet on the bench as well. Doing some pretty significant damage to that Silver Valley GX up in that active spot. Pop Little Girl, you have Rainbow Rare Lycan Rock. You just need Rock Rough to use it. Well, if you do have access... Or, so you're talking about online or... Actually, either way, online or in real life. If you can pick up the theme deck, I forget what it's called, but there's a theme deck based around Lycan Rock. It comes with, I think, three basic Rock Rough. So if you can afford to pick one of those up, in real life, it's like, say, well, I know it as, like, say, 15 bucks Canadian, something like that. Or you could go with, uh, oh, this is going to knock me down. That is an interesting little maneuver. I lose all that energy. Um, I was about to say, well, who has a free retreat cost? Anybody? Nobody? Of course not. Or Bombi, go. But yeah, for tokens, I think 500 tokens, you can get the online copy of that theme deck, which is pretty decent. All right, so I can play Diantha. Bring back a couple of discarded cards. Let's go with... That should be good. Now let's get the energy, or the uh, extra HP. So we're going to drop Xerneas GX. We're going to attach the Fighting Fury Belt. We will use our Illuminate. Grab ourselves a Florgis. 
And we're going to throw an energy onto our Xerneas GX. Now, I don't think I've used the Honey Gather just yet. I will use that right now. Grab another couple of basic energy. Hmm. We'll end it right there. High CPU usage detected. As always. But the stream seems to be working fine. That's all I care about. Okay, let's see. Dazzling Shell. The Reggies from Crimson Invasion work together perfectly. Because, yeah, they all sort of uh, combine with one another to add more features and aspects, don't they? I believe. And so Valley will be a bit of a pain. I admit that is true. I'll be able to deal with it, I believe, though. Just hold tight. And uh, Trainer Joey has Rock Rough. You do the online as a guest, Poppy Old Girl says. Don't do this. Don't knock out my floor, just. That's just mean. I was going to do something if you hadn't done that. Well, I mean, I can still do something. Herbalmy, get back up there. We need you. All right, then. So, we're going to illuminate. Let's see if we can get ourselves back one of our Florges. If I can find myself a rare candy, that'd be great. I think my best bet, I'm going to play out the puzzle of time and look at the top three cards. Skyla's good. I'll take a Skyla on top. Now... Let's throw this energy onto our Xerneas GX. We're going to Guzma up the Sill Valley. Xerneas GX takes the active spot. Go for the overrun. Wait, I haven't honey gathered yet. Make sure I use that before the end of the turn. Thinning out your deck by getting out some of those uh, kind of superfluous cards helps definitely. You can draw better cards at the start of your next turn. All right, overrun. I believe that should knock down the Sill Valley GX and do some more damage to the benched Malamar. Going to grab two prizes off of that one. All right, Fighting Fury Belt and a Random Receiver. So here we have this coming back up. It can do 120. It could do 180 if, big if, they had more prizes left than I did. We have another Necrozma GX. Ooh, that's going to be some good damage. This might be it. And uh, Trainer Joy, you love Diantha. She was the best champion ever in Pokemon games. See, it's like... Everyone has their own opinions. Not saying that it is invalid or anything. She just didn't really do much that I remember. I mean, let's talk about Cynthia, because we just saw Cynthia on screen. She actually does a whole bunch during the adventure of uh, Diamond and Pearl, even if she was a bit of a pest to have to deal with. That is true. Um, she was still, you know, involved and active in the story. Don't we just meet Diantha once, I think? And then we don't see her again until the championship arrives. As soon as that happened, I was like, I immediately knew that she was the champion when I first saw her. I'm like, her design is so ex ex you know, extravagant. There is no way that she is not going to be the champion. All right, let's illuminate and grab ourselves a Florgis. We can rare candy up into that, of course. This, ba this match, this battle, this is going to be a bit of an issue. What can we do? What can we do? Let's go for the random receiver. We've got Wally. Doesn't help us that much, but we're going to Wally up into Florges Break. Why not? Get another Pokemon down on the field. And there's not much that we can do. Let's just go for the added HP that we're going to attach to Rubombi. We will retreat. I'm now going to use the Honey Gather ability and draw out some more of our energies. And that is all we can really do. Well, we can heal now. Floral Breeze. Heal 30 damage and one special condition from your active Pokemon. And that's that. Now, what can we do here? And hello, uh, Jamian, is that right? Uh, your name is Jay. Sorry. I should have read all the comments. How's it going, Jay? Welcome to our live stream tonight. Trainer Joy says she's kind of weak, but really nice and has good music. And she is one of the first, well, she's one of the first. She is the first champion to use a Mega Evolution as well. Of course, Gen 7, or sorry, Gen 6 was the only time that we first had Mega Evolutions. Good game, too. I believe that would be Vincent. As I always say, I have trouble keeping track of the username to the YouTuber name. But good game to whoever just wiped the floor with my uh, nice fairy-type deck. But we try to hold our own as good as we could. All right, so we are at near the halfway point. What we're going to do here, I'm going to send out one of these code cards. I'm going to put it in the chat as usual. And I'm also going to open up my Crimson Invasion pack at the same time. So two codes getting ready for you here. 
About five of them just hit the floor. I'll grab them later. Six of them hit the floor. I'll grab that later. I don't know which card in here is making them all flop around like that, but we'll get rid of it sometime. So this one comes from a bit of a blast from the past. A blast from the primal past, as it were. We have a primal clash booster code. I'm gonna send out in the chat. And Chandler Scorcher, you want to battle? Well, we can as soon as I give out these codes, and then you can send me the battle invite. So first and foremost, so prepare yourselves, your copy-paste action for the first of two codes coming to you, sort of back-to-back, -back, depending on how long it takes me to open up that Crimson Invasion booster. All right, Primal Clash, the code is accurate, I believe. Grab that, folks, take it to the game online, grab it and I just said grab it. Enter it into your shopping cart thingy at the top and get yourself that nice booster pack. All right, for a moment, I'm going to read what Trainer Joey's saying as I fumble with this. If only Diamond and Pearl had Mega Evolution so Diantha could go Mega Garchomp. Um, yeah, Mega Garchomp, like it, like it needs it. Although, if you watched the Pokemon Pearl finale for the main story, I'm kind of surprised with which Pokemon we survived with fighting against that. So, I was really happy with how things worked out. Wasn't happy leading up to it, as you could probably tell, but I'm also glad that I kept recording anyway, because if uh, if I stopped recording, I would have missed out that victory. So I was like, I gotta record just in case we happen to manage to win. All right, so now I'm gonna give you a Crimson Invasion code card down in the chat, and then I'll open up my cards and see what I get from my physical collection. Will I find a full art? Will I find a uh, Pokemon GX? Could I possibly get? Nope, no Prism Stars. Prism Stars do not exist yet in that set of Burning... Oh, Crimson Invasion. Could find an Ultra Beast. That could be something. Alright, the second code is available now in the chat. Help yourselves to that one, folks, for a Burning Shadows booster. As I'm being challenged in a moment, as soon as I get these cards out. Alright, I'm not going to see what they are, if I can help it. Now, what I'm going to do... I'm actually going to move my screen over here so I can see a much closer view of what I'm looking at. Alright, so... There we go. Randomizing. Not randomizing, uh, arranging. How does this work again? Alright. So let's see what we get. The energy should be a darkness energy. I gotta find a better setup for my lighting. I was gonna hold the cards a certain way. We have Solandit. We have a Feebas, I believe. Yep. With Splashing Dodge. We have got a Cubone. Very cute Cubone. A Shellos. And there is a Bunnelby. Look at that, I know what these guys look like. I believe the uncommon cards are starting off with a... Is that Minchino? Chinchino. I can never keep those two straight. I don't know their names. Another uncommon is going to be Miltank with a pretty nice Moo Moo Malt ability. While it's active, attaching one energy from your hand to any of your Pokemon heals 90 from that Pokemon. We've got the Sea of Emptiness. Sea of Nothingness, there we go. When you evolve Pokemon with a Stadium in play, you do not cure special conditions. Reverse Foil is a Staryu, very shiny looking Staryu. And the rare of my pack is... What are you? Ooh! A Foil Salazzle. You guys can't really see it that well, but look at the Foil aspect of it there. And that is the Nasty Plot Severe Poison Salazzle. Pretty decent. So that's what I got out of my pack. Hopefully you guys, whoever grabbed that code, got yourself just as much luck, if not more, with the online booster pack. Alright, so I see that I was issued a challenge. We'll clear that out here. So we are ready for an opponent. And Chandelure, you're asking, how do you send a challenge? So, all you gotta do is throw me a friend request. Go over here to your little uh, lobby menu thing here. And let's choose... I'm gonna use Mega Stinger. I haven't used the Mega Stinger deck in a while. But I'll show you how to send that friend request if you do not have it. If you don't you know, have the access to do it. So we see Dragon and Psychic. Does that mean we're going to see the Ultra Necrozma? I think we might... Ooh, Feromosa coin. The old Lusamine coin being flipped up there. As Shadow JK challenges me. Alright, we have a basic. I got two basics. And if it is Ultra Necrozma, how are we going to deal with that? Because we just got destroyed somewhat by... Well... Yeah, we got destroyed by Duskwing, or uh, Dawnwing's Necrozma, didn't we? I believe so. Okay, so we are set, ready to roll. Shadow JK is taking that first turn. What do we got here? We got a Poipol and Ultra Necrozma GX, which does count as an Ultra Beast, which would power up Poipol's Beast Raid. And Spooky Miner, you are done mowing. Welcome back. Was it a big chore? Was it a big lawn that had to be mowed up, or what? And... 
Trainer Joey asking, can I do a Salanda Evolve deck? How do you mean? Like, just a... Uh, a deck that just features, like, Salanda evolving up and stuff like that? Because, yeah, you can... I could put them in there. Alright. I'm going to Wally, first of all. I did have Octillery in hand, but by using Wally now... I get to evolve and use the Abyssal Hand immediately. So we're going to play Ultra Ball. I'm going to get rid of the Energy and the Octillery. And we're going to grab... Where are you at? We're going to grab a Moral Ult. And Poplar Girl, you don't have chores. Very cool. Is that just in general or just at the moment? Okay, we have an energy here, so let's throw that down there. We can do the tool scrapper, sorry, the double scrapper, but that's not going to help us at the moment really, so we'll just pass the turn right there. And... So, Joey asking, just Salandit and Salazzle and any other Pokemon that I want to put in. So, you just basically want Salandit and Salazzle in a deck, right? Now, are you talking just regular Salazzle or Salazzle GX? Because those are two separate guys that you could do. Or no, technically, I said guys. I meant girls, because only female Salandit becomes Salazzle, of course. Which is weird, because we're about to lose our draw support. I don't want to. But, they say technically, Salandit, like male Salandit, are able to evolve, they just don't have the nutrients they need to do so, because they feed all their food to the females. So that makes it sound like they are capable of evolution, just not... they're not gonna do it. And I don't understand that. Alright, but we did just lose our draw support, unfortunately, but we will illuminate into a Bulbasaur. We'll drop you onto the bench. And let us try the old Puzzle of Weight. Let's not Puzzle of Time yet, let's Super Rod. Bring back some of our draw support, and the energy right there. Now, let's take a look at the top three cards. What helps us the most? I guess this, maybe? You know, I could actually shuffle the deck. I'm gonna shuffle the deck. I'm gonna look for an Ultra Beast. Oh, oh, I failed. Shuffle it up. Randomize once again. Tools do not exist on the other side, so I can't even attack. Uh, let's see. So, Spooky Miner. It was quite a bit, but you were almost done when you first popped in. Okay, I gotcha. And Salandic can evolve to Salazzle to help. Yeah, there's a few different Salazzle that... Well, there's one that is a fire type. It has an ability called Hot Poison. When you play from hand to evolve a Salandit, you can leave the active Pokemon on the other side burned and poisoned, which is cool. And Pop Little Girl never has any chores to take care of. Wish we could all say the same thing. I'm looking around the place here. I've got dishes I gotta take care of. I got just yeah, I got a bunch of stuff I gotta do. And my breeding Pokemon for the grass gym leader for Wi-Fi battling, Spooky Miner asks. I have not yet bred anything, but I will be doing that very soon. So if you guys have any suggestions or requests for which grass type Pokemon will be the prize, let me know either here or say like, you know, on my Twitter or something like that. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get a Beedrill EX, thank you. We're gonna put you down on the bench. I guess I'll do the active one to uh, take the damage. Hmm. That's really all that we can do here. I was about to say, this deck could use better draw support. I forgot, we had better draw support. Up until Guzma decided, uh-uh, you ain't having that draw support no more. Uh, Trainer Joe, you've been here for almost the entire stream. That is true. You've been here since, like, the beginning. Very cool. Thanks for sticking around. All right, we still have... We're only, like, a little bit half... Or a little bit over halfway through, so... Once this battle's done, I'll give it another code. In fact, while... Uh, Shadow JK's taking their turn, I'm gonna grab those codes that did fall earlier. Add them to the stack, and I'll shuffle up once again once this is done. And another code be given out. There we see the Beast Raid... Yeah. A versus Seeker. Don't get Guzma. Don't get Guzma! Guzma's a jerk. Who likes Guzma? He actually became pretty decent at the end of Ultra Sun Ultra Moon. If you guys didn't see that. I don't get why you brought that one up. I guess you had to bring something up, though, to get the uh, switch around there. So, let us evolve into Venusaur. Uh, we're going to illuminate once again. What do I want to get? I'll get a uh, moral lull. I will bench it. 
Yeah, Versus Seeker is not standard anymore. That's right, Vincent. But I do allow people to use the expanded format for this. I personally try to keep things standard just for the added challenge of being more limited. But when we're doing our friend battles here, our you know viewer wi viewer Wi-Fi, the viewer TCG online battles, I don't mind. You guys can use basically whatever you want. Except Don Wings the Crows, but that should be banned because for no actual reason, I just don't want to have to deal with it. And the Ultra Ball, oh, they're discarding it. Yes, I don't have to deal with it. I wonder if this deck, if Shadow JK has the uh, Ultra Recon Squad, discarding an Ultra Beast or two from hand to draw three cards per Ultra Beast. All right. We lose our Beedrill EX. Two more prizes being drawn. But here's the thing. Here's where things get fun. First of all, we're going to Illuminate. Let's grab ourselves another Shinotic. That way we get double the uh, search support every turn. And we are also going to Illuminate once again with this new one. Just grab another Pokemon out of the deck. And then the last one I think we can take is... We've got two options. I'll just grab this Mega Beedrill. We'll hang on to it. Now, here's where things get pretty fun. Actually, never mind. This kind of deck breaks what I have working for me. So, let's just talk out what this would do. Hazard Stinger. With two Grass Energy, you do 40 damage. Discard all energy from this Pokemon. The opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed and poisoned, and they take four damage counters instead of one for that poison. Now, I only have one energy, but the Bench Venusaur, Jungle Totem, says each basic Grass Energy attached to your Pokemon provides two Grass Energy. So I can now attack. So, in a perfect world, this thing could not do anything next turn. Problem is, you got a little thing like, oh, I don't know, Mr. Invasion over here. It can take the active spot, if it's on the bench, and if you have a way to retreat it back, bring up the other Pokemon that was ready to attack. So, bit of an issue with uh, the deck that I'm using here. But, a cool combo nonetheless. Look at all those foil energies, too. And Pop Logo, you don't know what standard or unlimited or any of those things mean. Just think of it as... The different formats that they allow for official Pokemon tournaments, you're limited in how old the cards are that you're allowed to use for them. Uh, sorry, the uh, standard format right now is just maybe the past two years or so. And the expanded format, actually, you can get cards from all the way in the black and white series of cards to use in the expanded format. There are certain cards that are banned that kind of break the game rules and stuff, but uh, for the most part, it just tells you what sets you're limited in using your cards from. And can you turn up, or sorry, can I turn up the music? I could probably do that. Where's my music player? There you go, I got an alt tab over to it. I'll go a little bit higher. I'll turn it back down in a bit, though. And what is this music again? I don't even remember. Beast Raid, no. 120, I believe? Just 100, okay. I was gonna say, who's not an Ultra Beast over there? There it is. All right, so again, we could lock them down if this Pokemon was not ready to invade at any moment. Might as well illuminate, grab a Pokemon for whatever good it's going to do us. And no more Pokemon that we can grab, of course. Let's just go for the uh, Hazard Stinger. 40. Lose the energy. 40 from Poison. Invasion. Free Retreat with that Float Stone. Knockout. It's not actually game yet. They only have two prizes taken by that. And, uh... Popo suggesting try doing Snivy as a prize for the Grass Gym. I could do that. Would you guys like maybe for me to try to breed up some Contrary Snivy? So you can have a Contrary uh, Superior as the prize? I could take a look into that and see what would be a good uh, move set and nature and IV combo for Snivy, or rather Superior. That sounds like a cool idea for you. And Trainer Joe, you don't have Pokemon Bank, so you can't send Pokemon up from Pokemon X. But if you do ever get Pokemon Bank, it is pretty cool. It doesn't uh, doesn't cost that much. Like there is still a cost associated with it, but I love it that I love the Pokemon I use in the Wi-Fi battles. They've been with us ever since, like uh, Gen Three, like my Squirtle, my Swampert, Pikachu, the Pikachu that destroyed. Sorry, if King Dragoon is here, but destroyed over half of a legendary team. That was kind of cool. All right, pass the turn. Beast Raid takes us down. I couldn't deal with this thing. That invasion. It's quite a thing. That float stone really helps it as well. But yeah, so uh, let's see here. Can you breed Fungus with hidden ability? What is the hidden ability for Fungus? Is it Regenerator? I cannot recall. And 
Did Pokemon Bank bring your Pokemon from the old games to the new gens? Yes, it does. So, when you get Pokemon Bank, well, first of all, congratulations to Shadow JK. Well played game. Couldn't quite get around the invasion combo with that. And the float stone, of course, helps a lot. So, no challenges just yet, folks. I gotta give a code card out as I finish answering this question. So, when you get Pokemon Bank, you do have access to download another thing called the Poke Transporter, which allows you to set up a box in your er, you know, earlier game, like uh, Pokemon X, Pokemon Y, or Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire as well, but also the virtual console games, red, blue, yellow, gold, silver. You can uh, send a box of, actually box number one, I believe, all the Pokemon in box one in that game get sent into the Poke Transporter into your Pokemon bag. You can then bring them into your current Gen 7 games. So yeah, you can upload them from earlier generations. And what's really neat, okay, just a little sidetrack here. If you do transfer Pokemon from the virtual console games of Gen 1 and Gen 2, red, blue, yellow, gold, silver, every one of those Pokemon is guaranteed three max IVs and guaranteed its hidden ability. So if you're looking to do some possible breeding, that's a good way to go ahead and get some cool Pokemon. All right, I'll get back on the chat in just a second. I'm going to send out another code. This one has been drawn to be a Burning Shadows booster pack. And... Actually, before I type it, Shadowlander Scorcher is asking, how do you send a, a challenge? So, if you go here to your... What do you even call this? Uh, I don't even know. To send me a battle invite, you should see my name. And if you don't have me on your friends list, send me a friend request. Click this little plus by the face up here. And type in my username, Dotman64. If you don't know it there. Type that in, hit OK, and I'll see the request. Once you see me in your list, lit up green, you click on the face. And that little lightning bolt by the two heads, that's your battle challenge. There you go. All right. Now, once again, back to the chat. We will put in the code here for a Burning Shadows. I wonder if my gym is still mine across the street. Who even knows right now? I turned the game off. I didn't want to be distracted by looking at my Pokemon Go every moment. There we go. Got yourself a code card for Burning Shadows. And we have the challenge. Uh, I want to try the Burning Toxins just for fun. I really gotta work on making new decks too. Alright, moving the chat back over. Spy Guy AF, <coughs> excuse me, After Future, we'll pretend that stands for, challenging us to battle. And let us see here. You lost by 1 HP, Popular Girl says. I'm trying to see which. Did I move? I must have missed part of the chat. I'm getting so distracted. All right, got a reshuffle. We had a mulligan there. So Pokemon Silver on your 3DS will work if you transfer to Pokemon X. Uh, you well, right now you can't transfer up to Pokemon X. Like Pokemon Bank only right now will connect with. Uh, I shouldn't say this. Okay, how about if you send a Pokemon through the Poke Transporter into Pokemon Bank from an earlier game, then it can download into Pokemon Sun or Moon or Ultra Sun Ultra Moon. It's only able to connect with the current Gen 7 games. Before they came out, though, they were connectable with Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire, X, and Y. And let's see what we got here. We got a Sophocles. We're going to get rid of... What do we want? I need to get myself some help. Skyla, get out there. Help us out. We got to find something. What are we even looking for right now? We have no energy in hand, so the... Draw support's not going to help us. I believe we're just going to go for a nest ball. There's only one in here. Unfortunately so. Let's go ahead and nest ball. we got to get ourselves a... Where are you at? So this deck has three Fennekin in it. Bear in mind. How many Fennekin do we find? Absolutely none. Alright, Salandit, it is your time. Let's do this, I guess. We're going to Rando Recivo. We've got a Cynthia. That could help us next turn. And... I'm just going to... Retreat. For nothing. Which is why I like that Chimchar. No retreat cost. We'll end the game right... Not the game. We're going to end the game right there. I quit. Now we're going to end the turn right there. And... Uh, so Spooky Miner's saying, Regenerator is Amoongus's hidden ability. Okay. And so, yeah, Trainer Joey, you would need to buy the new games if you do want to uh, 
send Pokemon up. At least I think so. I would say do a Google search and look into this because I might not know all the details. But from what I understand, they only connect with the current Gen 7 games. They might still connect. Like, I know you can send Pokemon from X, Y, Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire through the Poke Transporter and... Do you even need the Transporter? You might not. But either way, you're able to send them into the Pokemon Bank and then I know they can come down into the current uh, Gen 7 games for sure. Alright, let's go ahead and Salazzle. And... I'm gonna put the Dumbbells on. I'm gonna try Sophocles. It's a bit of a risk. We're gonna discard the Evo Soda and the Sea of Nothingness. Draw four. I was kind of hoping for a Monferno, but of course the luck will not be there for us. So... Our only chance is to go for the Panic Poison. Burning, Confusing, and Poisoning the active Pokemon. We gotta hope the Confusion pulls through and keeps them from hitting us, because if they get one more energy, they're going to hit us, and they're going to knock us out. We weak to water. And Unknown Spike is requesting a battle. You can do the battle as soon as we're done this one, of course. And hello, Haxo Wolfie. Welcome to our TCG live stream tonight for, of course, Pokemon TCG Online. Pokemon TCG is too lazy to make all the types, so they make Ice types Water, Poison type Psychic. Well, you could call it laziness, but let's take a look at this here. If they had every type of Pokemon represented in the cards, first of all, Salazzo would have to be a fire and poison type card. It would have weaknesses of ground, rock, water. What else does it have weaknesses to? I don't even know. But you have to see all the resistances on there and stuff too, so I kind of like it for the fact that it does keep it more simplistic. And that's just my own personal, you know, I guess two cents on it there. All right, fire energy, we're going to go for Cynthia. Hope we can get something better to work with here. We got another Chimchar. We got a Monferno at least. That's not bad. So we saw the burn has been cured. Okay. And what does Hunter's Nails do? 60 plus, 60 more if they have a special condition. So 120. Look at that. We're going to knock this thing out. The Glaceon's going to destroy us. But we're going to knock out. At least they didn't get to use the uh, Delta Plus ability or Ancient Trait. Getting extra cards by knocking out Pokemon. And, uh, Spooky Meyer asking, are you doing every typing for Wi-Fi battles or just Gen 1? What I plan to do, actually, is as soon as we finish the Gen 1 gym uh, sequence, I'm going to move into Gen 2. So, the uh, first team of Gen 2 will all be, like, flying types, of course. Watch out, folks. Dazzling Shell's warning us there's tarantulas in the chat. As per usual, they just show up whenever they feel like it. Generally only at nighttime, though. As Newt said in Aliens, they mostly come at night. Mostly. One second. I'm going to turn the volume a little bit down. We're almost at... Actually, we're almost at the end of the song anyway. Turn it back down a little bit there. I think it's good. Ow! You knocked out my... Pokemon. That's not fun. Huh. Go, Chimchar! You can do this. Not really, but... Uh, maybe. Another Chimchar. Drop you here. I'm going to Super Rod. Let's bring back some of these Pokemon. Now, if I had my Fennekin... If they were not all prized, this might be going slightly different. Not really that much different, but slightly different. Lily, help us out, please. Okay, so let us... What do we even do? I'm going to put energy to... No, wait a minute. I'm going to max potion first of all. Heal 30, lose all energy attached. We got Buzzswool. I was doing some Ultra Wormhole, Worm, uh, worm Riding, bleh, Wormhole, Ultra Warp Ride, whatever you want to call that thing, I'm clearly messing it up, but I managed to find another Buzzswole in my Warp Ride. Yes! One Ice Beam knocked it out. Oh. But I'll get some more Ultra Beasts for future giveaways, of course. I still haven't found a shiny Ultra Beast yet in the games, though. Spooky Mario wants a fairy-themed Wi-Fi battle. You want fairy-type in particular. You have to wait till Gen 6. That's not necessarily true, because certain Pokemon are dual types, one of which is Fairy. So if I go for like a normal type gym, I could possibly use my Jigglypuff, for example. Wait, you're right. The prize you wait would be the type of the Pokemon. Never mind, you're absolutely right. I completely messed up. All right, we have a Muscle Band on that Glaceon GX, which also I don't think is standard, or sorry, uh, yeah, standard legal anymore, but again, Expanded is just totally fine as well. You know, you'd think 
that I might have gotten an Infernape with what I just did. But wait a minute, hang on. Scorched Earth. You'd think I would have... Oh. All right. So land it. There you go. We're going to Super Singe for a measly 20. But we get the burn. I guess we'll have to be happy with that. And uh, Dazzling Shell's asking, do I have the Delphox from Fates Collide? I'm pretty sure that I do. The Psy Shock, is it? Or Psy Storm? Don't do that. I gotta lose a Pokemon? I guess you're not helping us that much. Oh, choose two of your best Pokemon to keep. Hang on. Let's keep these guys. Hiya! Cyrus. Of all the nerve. Who even makes use of Cyrus these days? I mean, come on. Prism Star Cyrus, who even wants you? I'm going to rip you in half right here. I'm actually not. I'm going to keep it. And we are getting destroyed by all these GXs and EXs. I haven't even mentioned. Look at that Gyarados. Gyarados has a whole team over there. We got a Greninja. We got a F Manaphy or Fione? I think that's Manaphy. No, it's Fione. Doesn't Manaphy have a hat kind of thing? I don't know. All right, here's where things get kind of nice. We're going to play Mallow. I can choose two cards and put them on top. What two cards will they be is the question. Let's go for Rare Candy and Infernape. And we're going to now use the Scorched Earth. Draw those top two cards. Hiya! Let's evolve up into Mo sorry, Infernape, not Monferno. And a nice energy on to our Infernape. Now the... Was it Flaming Fighter ability says put six damage counters instead of two on the opposing burned Pokemon between turns. Let's burn it. Another six damage being done to it. If nothing else, that's kind of nice. And Spooky Miner, you have this Gyarados in real life. Very cool stuff. I've seen a few of those at our Pokemon League. And a very fancy card, to say the least. And there's the Frost Bullet. So they're going to take some more burn damage here. But then they might cure that burn with a flip of the heads. Nice. So I don't even need to attack this turn, which is kind of okay. I'll accept that. We'll end that. Look at that. We knocked out a Pokemon GX, everybody. Does that make us the winner or what? I could just turn my back on what's about to happen now because I don't want to see this Gyarados come up. I didn't see this Gyarados come up. Hmm. I guess we're safe now. Oh, Mega Evolution. So land it, go. Nest Ball, go. Let's get another Salandit down there. Guzma, go. Get up here, Gyarados. Get up there, foil Salandit. We're going to foil your plans, Mega Gyarados EX. We're going to send you. We got the burn, everybody. And they don't cure the burn. Pretty nice stuff. So what's your HP? 240. So four full turns of burn. Never mind, going to be able to retreat. But four full turns of burn would have actually been a knockout. We're going to get really lucky with those coin flips, however, though. And after this battle, we'll have time for just one last one because Unknown Spike has been waiting. But I will give out one more code in between, don't heal, in between this battle and the battle versus unknown spike. I'm just going to shuffle up right now because we're going to probably lose very soon. Alright, we got a code card ready. I haven't even looked at it yet, so I don't know what set it's from. I'm going to keep the anticipation building. Let's go, Infernape. We can do this. No, we can't. Well, random receiver might help us. Skyla. We're not going to win, for sure, but let's at least do as much damage as we possibly can. Let's get the Professor's Letter. We'll get rid of their healing options with the uh, Sea of Nothingness. Take down their... What is that called again? Rough Seas. A couple of Fire Energies. We'll snag them, thank you. Now, we're going to do the Burst Punch, which does 50 and causes burn. That's another 60. So, 110 total that turn. But, the Blast Geyser takes us down, and that's their last prize that they're going to have to take. And they cure the burn. Look at that, 40 hit points away from taking down a Mega Gyarados with a fire Pokemon. All this damage. What's the most damage you've ever seen done in Pokemon TCG Online, folks? I once saw, I think it was a thousand damage being done. 
something that was weak to fire and all these like flare ups and whatever it was steam ups so much damage was done all right before the final challenge is issued my way versus unknown spike i'm going to toss out one more code another burning shadows booster pack code card here and we'll end off with a battle and then guess what i gotta do after this folks i gotta do some more editing for pokemon go for tomorrow all right let's take a look here if i got this code typed in right i think it's looking good help yourselves burning shadows an online 11 card booster pack all right, and what else is rolling on here? And yeah, Pop Wheel Girl, you have a point. Whenever you're in doubt, think like Ash, and the type of advantage doesn't matter. I'm going to go on a rant right now. Um, I couldn't watch the anime for quite some time because I saw the most game-breaking misinterpretations of their own rules from one of the... Uh, who do I want to use? Hang on here. I'm going to try our Soul Valley deck. It's not the best deck, but it's going to be fun. And the most game-breaking sequence of events. We had Gary versus Ash, all right? So Ash had Heracross on the field. Gary was using Magmar, burp. Excuse me, I stifled it pretty nicely. But Magmar went for, I believe, a Fire Blast. I'll go first. Went for a Fire Blast on Heracross. Now, first of all, that should have been a knockout. That's all I'm going to say. But it wasn't. Okay, so fair enough. But then Magmar followed up with a point-blank range, right in its face, flamethrower. Heracross survived that. Heracross then turned things around and used Megahorn, a bug-type resisted move. Granted, it was stab, but resisted bug-type move against Magmar, one-hit KO'd it. I watched that, and I was just like, brain can't process, brain hurts. No mulligans. I won't take those cards. <sighs> that was quite a time. All right, so what do I want on my bench? I'm going to get a Sneasel. And I'm going to... That's not really going to do much. So I'm going to put double colorless type null. Eh, no, type null. Eh, yeah. Huh. I'm going to hang on to the Kakui. I'm going to end the turn right there. But Pokemon Logics... Sorry, hashtag Pokemon Logics indeed, Popular Girl quite a sequence of events. Now, sometimes they really do really cool things, like when, I think, a sorry, yeah, Ash was fighting Roark, was it? The gym leader of Orberg City, and I believe uh, Cranidos hit it with something, and then Static activated. They brought stuff like that into it, which I really think is cool, and it, you know, connects to the game a lot more. But then you got things like Ash going to the Unova region and battling whatever his name was, and Pikachu losing to what would have normally been a level 5 Snivy. Pikachu has gone up against so many opponents, so many powerful foes in the world of Pokemon, yet a starter Snivy takes it down. I mean, sure, it, he could have been contrary. I don't think that mattered, though. Anyway, Dazzling Shell says, You know what else is strange in, an er, in, in the anime? Using Heal Pulse on yourself. Did they do that? You know what else is weird in the anime? Buzzwool meeting Snorlax. Look that up. I've mentioned it many times. If you haven't seen it, well, first of all, if it's near your bedtime, maybe don't look it up. Could be nightmare fuel, but if it's middle of the day, help yourself. And the Thunder Armor episode where Pikachu powered up Taylor with electricity. Spooky Miner asking, that I do not even know about. What was that all about? How do you power up a flying type with electricity? Granted, there are moves like Soak that turn Pokemon into water types or whatever. Oh, I see your game. I can't use that ability because of this ability. Okay. Well, we'll evolve on the bench anyway. I'm going to... I'm going to Kakui right now. Let's see what we get. Random receiver. Let's drop that down. And we got a Mallow. Might be nice. Okay, so I believe we're going to... That's what we're going to do. We're going to Puzzle of Time. So the first one I want to use is... Hmm. Actually, this... No, does that help us? No, it doesn't. So I'm going to be able to use Mallow. Let me think. Put two cards on top. I'll just grab the energy. I think that's probably the best bet right here. And that's going to end our turn. 
Pass it back over to Unknown Spike. So no spoilers. You rather find that stuff by yourself. Okay, so I'm not going to mention any of spoiler type stuff. And yeah, basically Ash must have Victini with him, as Pop Little Girl says in the chat. The random luck is amazing. Now, okay, you guys are probably aware that initially Ash was supposed to have Clefairy as his partner, which uh, would have changed things. But I was I forget who I was listening to, but they were saying something about. Well, hang on, what do I want on top? I think probably a better hand of cards would be good. Let me see. What's in my hand? Okay. That's actually not bad. I'm going to do this. I'm going to put Lily on top. And... A guaranteed... What? I'm going to get a guaranteed double colorless. On the top they go. And that's all we're going to do for this turn. But what was I just talking about? I got so distracted with strategy right there, I lost track of what I was even trying to say. Something about Ash and, uh, hang on. Almost got it. Oh, so about Ash having Clefairy. So, whenever Pikachu fights Team Rocket, you know, Pikachu Electro blasts them and it explodes and they just go flying off and everything. And they said that if uh, Clefairy was his partner, that would have made a little bit more sense because then Clefairy's metronome could have done whatever they needed it to in order to save the day, basically, and stop Team Rocket. So it's kind of cool that Pikachu is his partner. All right, I'm going to drop the Fire Memory to Sil Valley. I'll put the Electric Memory onto Type Null. I'm now going to play a Lily. We've got some options here. Very nice. We're going to drop another... Do we need Sneasel? Hang on, let's get the uh, Random Receiver. Grab ourselves a Skyla. Can't use her just yet, of course. But I shall double colors on type null. I am gonna ultra ball. Get rid of these two cards here. Grab ourselves a Weavile. Now this kind of combo here, the Weavile's ability tear away once during, or as often as I like during my turn, I can take tool cards back from any of my Pokemon that they're attached to, and then I can of course reattach them. I'm gonna retreat for the two energies into Sil Valley GX. Now, a better combo that I can do with this if I had the cards, which... Hang on, what can we do? That does nothing. Turbo Drive, 120. Alrighty. And no energy to attach. So they can hit me for... 150 with Polar Spear, but we will survive that. Um... I just lost track of what I was saying. Stop healing! You and your healing cards, come on! Just let me do the damage! You just healed all that off, really? Hmm. Well then. Isn't that something? So let's see what we're gonna get. Hello, Jace Keller. Welcome to our chat and live stream tonight. We're just about finishing up, but I guess I'll throw you as one more code card after this. If you guys want to grab another nice little code for the... I just spit everywhere. Anyway, a nice little code for the online game. Huh. What do we have in here for options? I'm going to grab a Evo Soda. I'm going to play the Evo Soda. Let's evolve up into another Sil Valley GX onto the bench here. I'm going to throw it an energy, a double colorless, of course, all we have. And can we check the top three cards, please? Give us something to work with. That does not help us at all. We'll just do this. Will we? I think that's maybe the... No, hang on. Let's do it this way. All right. I had it right the first time. Okay. So let's fire off the turbo drive for another 120. The old turbo drive 16. No energy, of course. And let's get caught up on the chat. So according to Ash, Dazzling Shell says, Squirtle... We wanted Squirtle as his first Pokemon. I mean, who wouldn't want Squirtle as your first Pokemon? I know I did. Of course, that's the one that I chose. So we're going to have to let uh, Weavile come up and take a hit. We need to get energy. Now, since those top three cards didn't have any energy... Can I play this? Come on, you don't know. There could be a Weavile break. Game, why are you trying to pull... Alright, whatever. Um, Magma used Flamethrower first. Okay. Oh, Heracross used Fury Swipes. Okay, I didn't know that. 
No basic. No basic Pokemon or no basic energy? If you're talking about me, no basic energy, of course. Okay, so now I'm understanding. The Flamethrower uh, Fire Blast combo, Heracross managed to uh, deflect it using its wings. You can't do that in the video game, but I'm all, I, the anime has different rules and stuff. It makes it more creative, I guess. I guess if they did follow just the rules, it'd be kind of boring. And Jace, my tutorial helped you out. I'm glad to hear that. That's one of the uh, most popular videos on the channel, and many people still check it out, and hopefully it is a good starting point for customizing a deck. Of course, there are many other things you can do to customize the deck even more. Like, for example, Pokemon GX. Clearly, they have some power to them. And many trainer cards are a good way to fuel your deck. There's uh, all sorts of ways you can work it. Best idea is, well, first of all, congratulations, Unknown Spike, good game. Man, couldn't quite pull through. So I'm going to give one last code out for you folks out there. But, yep, just uh, if you're going to customize some decks, just play around and see what works, see what doesn't. You can always alternate some cards out, swap them around, and just see what works best for you. All right, the final code before we end off our stream is going to be an X and Y Breakthrough booster pack. Let me grab my chat over here once again. And we'll type this in for you. Thank you, Jace. I appreciate it. I pre appreciate it. I can't speak. I appreciate the compliment, even though I got destroyed. The cards just were not coming up for me. Thus, I want to uh, downplay Unknown Spike's combo. Though. Very well played. Very well thought out strategy. Alright. We shall send one final code. A breakthrough booster. Copy paste that over to Pokemon TCG online and get yourself that booster pack. And I think we're going to be pretty much done for the day. I got to go do some editing for Pokemon Go. That's going to be up tomorrow. And I'll try to get Pokemon Pearl recorded again for tomorrow. So, once again, no stream tomorrow night. I'm going to take a break from streaming for a little bit. Tuesday, we'll come back with. I think we might do a Wormhole Wonder Trade Day. Just a nice little mellow thing. See if I can get some special shiny, some special Ultra Beast to give out to you guys in the old Wonder Trade at Festival Plaza. But for the time being, for anyone that is new to the channel and checked out our stream, feel free to subscribe for some more regular Pokemon content. You can also check out the channel after we're done here and see what else is on there. Pokemon Go videos we got. We got Pokemon TCG Online, Pokemon Ultra Sun, Wi-Fi Battling, Wonder Trade Days, Wormhole Hunting, all sorts of cool stuff. Also, it was Trip Snivy that beat Ash's Pikachu. Okay. And Pikachu got struck by Zekrom. Could have zapped all of its powers and dropped its HP. Maybe. I mean... It's still, it's a brand new Snivy. I couldn't buy that. Anyways, so Jace, you might be buying a booster box. Very cool. So you're asking, uh, which one should you get? <sighs> I don't know. Um, what do you guys think in the chat? What is the best set of cards to buy a booster box for right now? I do know that, is it, hang on, let me do a quick search on here before we end off. I think, oh, I got rid of the chat. Hang on. Uh, is it... Ultra Prism, I believe, that has some pretty cool combos. I'll tell you this. There's a theme deck, if you want to get started with like a, a new pack of cards. There's a theme deck that... I can't see them, can I? Deck Manager. Okay. A theme deck that I hate playing against, but as a professor, I must recommend what works. It is called Mock Strike. This deck here has a very powerful combo, and I believe this is Ultra Prism. So it's Ultra Prism for this set. And it's got a combo of Garchomp. This Garchomp here, Royal Blades Attack, does 100. Plus, if you played Cynthia from this, or you're from your hand this turn, this does 100 more damage. Now, Cynthia, kind of a basic supporter card. She says, shuffle your hand into the deck and draw six cards. This combo so well with Lucario, which is also pre built in this deck. You get one Lucario. Precognitive Aura, once during your turn, the ability says, if you have Garchomp in play, you can search your deck for a card like Cynthia put it into your hand, and then shuffle your deck. So Lucario lets you find Cynthia. And, oh, you did versus someone with this. Very cool. So if you do get a booster box of Ultra Prism, you have a good chance to get more Garchomp, more Lucario, to beef this deck up even more. More uh, Pal Pads, too, because they can shuffle back in supporter cards. And the nice thing is, although you only get one Lucario in this theme deck, every Lucario in play can do this ability as long as you have one Garchomp. So you can get up to three or four cards every turn that you want of your choice. That, oh, you you fought someone who used that against you. Yes, it is an annoying deck for sure. But if you can get it to work for you, it is an awesome deck and pre-built theme deck for you. Just need to throw some extra copies of some of the more staple cards and it's good to go. 
So that is my recommendation for you there, Jace. Hopefully that helps you out. Thank you, Jeff, for saying nice stream. Unknown Spike, thanks for the recommendation. Ultra Prism seems to be the uh, best way to go for the time being. Also, Imperial Command, another good theme deck from that set as well. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. This is a good theme deck. Not as powerful, I don't think, as the Mock Strike, but still pretty decent in its own right. So I think Ultra Prism is the way to go. The Let's Go games might bring the Battling Wild Pokemon mechanics back at the last second. But that's interesting to note, Poplio Girl. That'd be kind of cool. So it's not just a like encounter and catch thing like in Pokemon Go. We'll see what happens as those games come up closer to the end of the year in November. But with that primal music now firing up, that's as good a time as any to end off for the night. So come on back tomorrow in the morning time for a Pokemon Go live stream. I'll be opening up some of the gifts online, or actually opening up all the 20 that I can do for the day. And I see if I can send out some gifts to some of you Volks, Volks, some of you Volkswagens out there who are watching the video, and maybe get some friend connections on there as well. Do I have uh, Rainbow Rare Char? Is that Charizard GX? I do not think that I do. I'll take one quick look and see what it looks like. I'm gonna say I probably don't. And I believe you're saying Charizard. I'm not sure. It might have been a typo there. Charizard GX. Well, I do as a trade lock card. I got lucky with a random pull, so that's what it looks like if you're curious to see what it looks like there. All right, but with that, it's time for me to roll. So come on back tomorrow for some more Pokemon action with a Pokemon Go live stream early in the morning and hopefully get some gifts out to you guys or girls, you folks. There we go. So with that, it is time to roll. Thank you, folks, once again for watching. Professor Chaz is signing off. And as always, I'll catch you next time. Have a good evening, one and all.